happened to me. Hey, that's that's like, exactly oh, with shit. everything in life. Yep. You start doing things differently, overthinking for no reason, just fucking play. Yeah. You'll do something set the same way for a hundred matches, and then and instantly yeah, you'll just do and something different. Yep. <laughs> and you'll be like, you why the up. hell did I just do this? Yep. What kind of was the reason behind this? And then after that, you play another game, and it's just like, you're already mentally fucked, so like, you need to come back from it. Exactly, and then possible. you're behind from the start. Yep. But anyways, uh, Helen, continue with your commentating on this. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you guys are done. Viper's actually fake crushed. <laughs> Um, if you look at it, he's on his way to Feudal Age and 25 pop, and he's got one Militia in his barracks. And now Slam has just released all his Militia, and I don't know if he's going to play defensive because he thinks that Viper's going to play aggressive. But I've seen Viper do this before, and what he does is he tricks the opponent into thinking that he is rushing. And then he just stays there, and because a lot of people are intimidated, they just play defensive and they waste a five-man Militia back at home. So Slam's not doing that, which is nice. He's actually on the ball, and he's... Oh, no. Yeah. The way I've seen this a lot of the time is they create one at the start so it makes them know that they're drushing. Then they go up to feudal because it allows the extra feudal age because you've got more food in the bank. Mm -hmm. And then they create more of them up. So yeah, he's making more now. Board. But yeah, I've also seen him there, yeah, fake drush as well. So it looks like he's going for the men at arms thing as well. Again, rather. It did work out really well for him last game, but now with Slam's drush coming in. I don't know. Uh, you, know. you can see the eagle nearby, so surely that's a sign, but he's just gonna play this aggressive because, you know what? He'll probably do more damage with it than Slam can do to him with the men-at-arms. But Slam's gonna wall in. Look at look at that. He's just walled one side and... Perfect house wall right there. That's what I'm talking about. And now Viper's uh, men at arms are gonna do absolutely nothing. Running past the TC actually as well and taking quite a bit I of love, damage. I love how Slam uh, figured that Viper would go forward because he's in feudal faster, so now mm -hmm. he's chasing his villagers. That's a very good move. And there's yeah, a villager and, down. Ooh, that's two villagers, three villagers. No, two villagers with wolves on them. One has three and one has <laughs> one. This is just bad luck. He's gonna find more though. Look, if he goes up to the top. Oh my god. I didn't know they were playing on Gold Rush. And now look at the four wolves them. chasing one villager here. <laughs> he deletes it, but it still goes for his villager. Oh my god, Viper is just... Uh, yeah. Nah, not okay with this at all. Double archery round coming down in the front as well. Ah. And the wolves aren't even going for slam, look at that. Make a tower, not. make a tower, make a tower. Force the tower, yes. Yep, yeah, there we go. And uh, Viper, yeah, Slam also having the men at arms now, so... Just make the tower, move the villager, man. It looks like Viper's getting better fight here. He's fighting downhill mostly, but it seems like Slam's still gonna win that with the extra villager there. Slam needed more villagers on that tower, I don't know why he didn't add more. Oh no, Viper's going back and he's There's found the oh. three wolves again. <laughs> the wolves. That's just horrid. Yes, wall it in. At least he's gonna lead him back to the other guys. Yeah, but is it worth at this point anymore? He's lost, what, four villagers when he went forward with five? That... I think that was nearly one of the worst things that could have happened to him. Yeah. I, I think this game is already... Ooh, I hate to call it so early, but on the other hand, Viper's five vills behind, four vills behind, and it's what, 15 minutes into the game, he's making skirmishes against men at arms, his archery rangers are getting walled in, so he managed to get like one palisade there on the second archery range, which should prevent Slam from completely blocking it in, but Slam just gonna wall around that, so now Viper's got two archery rangers that he can't make units from, and Slam can just four keep adding. Down. Yeah. And Slam has a tower next Doesn't to the Archery Rangers as well. I mean, what do you do when, when it's like this? And Slam's already got double Archery Rangers, he's got four on gold. He's got a tower as well next to those Archery Rangers that are walled in. He's got units, skirmishes, vills. Uh, he's... He hasn't lost the villagers. 
Someone saying, know. yeah, on the bright side, well, he still missed one or two wolves, so it could have been worse. Uh, Viper should go on stone. Is he adding men at arms? Um, yeah, Viper yep. is adding men at arms. He's got them garrisoned up, but. Viper should definitely go on stone. You think you should try to continue towering? Like, try to tower rather? No, no, no. Tower, tower your base. Ah, tower his own base. Yeah, and then go into Eagle Warriors. Mhm. Mm but I guess he's gonna go and at arms. Well, Viper now only two bills behind, but um, and I don't think I can't think of any reason for Slam to go for Wheelbarrow, which he doesn't have. So somehow Viper bringing it back a little, but now uh, with Slam coming in to his base and Viper only throwing up an archery range at home now, because obviously he wasted two archery ranges on the other side of the map. Um, he doesn't have a tower in his gold, or he's got to choose between the gold or the wood right now. Which one do you think is a better idea? The wood, if he towers the wood, then he can at least take stone to make another tower. I think uh, he's gonna wait to see what happens, um, especially considering he still has a very large amount of skirmishers. <laughs> and those men at arms are really strong with defense. Come on, Sam. Yep. Slam should be able to kite these men at arms around and kill them off. They're quite he's slow. Get cut off. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get cut off. This is nice by Viper. It means he's at least going to have a bit of a military army numbers advantage for a bit. Because he's definitely behind in terms of eco, having wasted mm, what is that, 350 wood on two archery ranges for nothing? Plus four villagers? Yeah, it hurts to think of the number. <laughs> well. Huh? Apparently I have Snapchat, except I didn't know I have Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know who this guy added, but he added some random on Snapchat. Right. Oh, that's, that's good for him. Yeah, good for him. Uh, Slam, no, no one's going castle, but uh, Slam should be clicking up to castle soon. He's gonna be in castle age much yeah, earlier than Michael. But that gold of Slam, he's about to get hit. Viper, same thing, they're both coming in towards the gold. Yeah. What's Viper got at home? He's got a few archers. Slam's got a larger army. Oh, Slam. okay. oh, Slam's Ville's getting trapped on the gold, though. Slam needs to attack screen. Yeah, good job. Yep. Viper losing a lot of units at that gold. Yes, he is. He's also got Slam completely off gold in the meantime. He's just got to make sure that he's microing down the archers with his skirmishers. Um, the problem is, I don't know if he can clear up Slam's army at his base. He's been off gold the entire time at the same time as well. And I'm not sure if that was a good fight for him. Actually, I don't think it was, because Slam's about to click up to Castle Age. He's delayed Slam by about 30 seconds, and that's it. And now he's got nothing left there to be defending himself with, really. Oh, he's got well, some archers. Uh, some more skirmishers. Yeah, he's got the plus one archer armor as well on his archers, but he's camping at the hill. He lost two vills there, three vills, uh, two, I think, at the lumber camp. And uh, a few. No, actually, I think he just lost one or two on the gold. Slam uh, needs to add way more on gold. Yeah. Uh, he was just off gold for a long time, and he lost the villagers there, I think. He's sending them back now. Yeah, no, no, I mean... Yeah. Like, make a, another gold mine on the opposite side with, like, four uh, lumber lumberjacks. Mm-hmm. And he's halfway hey, through castle now, saying. almost. You're tired, you know. Be given for now. I'm very tired. <laughs> yes. I'm very, very tired. <laughs> but you want to watch Slam play, right? I honestly do. I was going to go to sleep, but, um... I, like I said, I told him his rating decay is up. Yep. Anyway, Viper also clicking up to Castle now, so he's going to be up to Castle about a minute and 30 seconds after Slam, I think. Somewhere around there. Also dropping a second barracks. This is interesting. Are we going to see Eagles plus skirmishes or something crazy from Viper? I don't know what he's going for, because he's making yeah. a lot of skirms. He's finally dropping a tower in his gold as well.
Uh, it's a good idea from Viper, but if Slam micros well, he'll destroy the... I would have preferred a Manganel because, you know, they're both going uh, for range units and Slam with both mm. players with a lot of skirms mixed in, basically. Slam is Slam is adding a Siege Workshop, which I think is kind of a mistake. Uh, you before. prefer him to Boom? Here? Yeah. No, no, I just prefer him to, to make more um, crossbows and do the second armor as well. Yeah, so you want, do you reckon a Manganel, going for a Manganel is a mistake in it of itself? Or do you think that maybe he should have just waited for it? Like, Manganel is a good idea, well, but not now. I think Slam just thought that Viper would go uh, range units, but it looks like Viper's going, um... Eagle Warriors. Yeah, but it's and hard to tell, front. like, when you're there. Because Viper's That's got such a I mean, large... Yeah. Holy crap, is Viper really doing this? Oh, He's... God. No, that's... No, okay, this happen. that was like four dead bills, more. Uh, it's gonna be more than that. I love I love the fact that he puts the... See, if he had plus two defense right here, slam, if he had it, he would have destroyed everything. But when it's plus one, uh, they're kind of weak. Yeah, but he still killed uh, so many villagers there. But he would have destroyed everything. Like, everything would have died. Yeah, well, Viper's now 20 pop behind. He was off wood for quite a lot of that. time. And that was like, what, seven cool. dead bills? Oh. Well, I guess in the situation, what else was Viper gonna do? I know, but it, it still hurts to watch. I mean, the good thing for Viper is <laughs> he's going for eagles. So it's oh, less yeah. of a... That's how it transitioned yeah. him into the next part of the game, anyway. Yeah. It's not as bad as if he was going for ranged units, like archers or skirmishers. Because he doesn't need the wood as badly as he would. Yeah. Otherwise. Oh, Viper putting up a siege yeah. workshop directly in front of Slam's siege workshop. Um, okay. That's a, that's a declaration of war there. If I've ever seen one. His his men at arms killed so many villagers of slams. Yeah. In his base. That, that was like six villagers. Okay, I missed that. My bad. Um But this is where the Vils were, guys. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was actually thinking about other stuff like uh, what the hell Viper is going to do and why he places the siege workshop there but a slam trying to come in again with some range units and he's going to be able to pick some vills at the lumber camp Viper's down to 32 villages and slams on 50 oh you could pick up uh, come on keep going one more he's gonna get four going. four no three uh, he, he was gonna die regardless he should have just went yeah but that's uh you know, the pressure, I suppose. So, so what is- is this like, technically a bro shop? Oh, they're so close to each other? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, Slam's not actually using his- And Slam going okay, for eagles as well? <laughs> and another defensive siege workshop back at home against eagles? Ah, oh, that's what Slam had in mind. Look at um, Slam's army on the right-hand side. He's actually cleared up those four eagles because he had an army close by, so he didn't lose those crossbows. Not all of them, I think. Uh, Slam should just go- why is he adding Siege Workshop? He should just- if he wants to go with Eagle Warriors, which I think is a good idea now. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. I mean, that's why I was asking, why is he throwing down a Siege Workshop on the hill? It doesn't make sense. I would totally agree with you. That because gonna be bad. Ooh, he knows Manganel Viper's going Viper eagles. Well over the double siege. Yeah, but Viper once again off wood at the back with slams, crossbows coming in. Viper doesn't actually have a defensive Manganel at home, I think. He's taken it forward and uh, slams Manganel has just died. And Viper's making a defensive Manganel, but that means idling his economy a bit. Which he doesn't have much the of thing... anyway. The thing that works... Viper does... Yep. Go for it. Uh, no, I'm just gonna say, the thing that works, the only thing that works for Viper in this scenario is Eagle Warriors are so cheap, so he can still win this game. Yeah, I think the With best part hill. is, like, that hill, yeah. Like, the hill in front of Slam's gold right now, as long as he can control it and he's not being- Oh no, those Eagle Warriors going yeah. straight for Viper's Manganel. Viper's gonna lose the hill. Without a Manganel there, he can't really fight against the crossbows. 
Hey, Viper should have moved his evil warriors to the hill. I don't know why he's trying to raid. He's still keeping the hill, but now a Mangonel, defensive Mangonel coming out from Slam to take care of the uh, skirmishers. And Viper's gonna have to vacate that hill. It's gonna be so hard to get the hill again once uh, he's off the hill. That was a really good hill. He should have should have took those eagle warriors. He's yeah. trying to raid with the yeah. end. And he's called the GG yeah. because without the hill, he can't win the game. Like he needed to control the hill. I love the bro shot. That was the bro shot. Yeah. That was that was that was a key. Yeah, Slam's economy was so much better though. Just so much better. He only had oh, 200 more food, but 2,000 more wood and a bit more gold as well as stone.